Okay, so the question is about hypoglycemia in children and how to treat it. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be telling anything you don't already know from the adult population as well. It's just how do you do the math, uh, I think is what you're talking about. And what, 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 a couple points about hypoglycemia in kids. First of all, especially if it's a very young child who doesn't have an underlying problem like diabetes, you need to find out why they've got hypoglycemia. So if you can, if you can, and generally you can, if you can, before you give sugar to that child, um, at least get a couple of blood samples. Um, there are a number of things that need to be checked into, growth hormone levels, insulin levels. Um, uh, there, there are a number of, of, of metabolic issues that need to be checked into. Once you've given the sugar to that patient, it gets very difficult for the metabolic folks to be able to sort out why this kid was hypoglycemic. So the first order of business is draw a couple of two, three um, tubes of blood couple red tops, um, I, I think uh, maybe a gold top, uh, it, but, but make sure you got some blood on hand before you give your sugar. Next question is how much sugar do you give? What we do in the pediatric world is usually we shoot for about a um, half a gram uh, to a gram per kilo. A half a gram is what I usually start with, depending on how, how, how symptomatic the patient is. In this case, we had a diabetic. We knew she was um, diabetic. We knew that she was a little bit low. She was only like 48 or something. So we decided to go with 0.25 per kilo, so a quarter gram per kilo. So how do you do that? Well, um, think about what you're talking about when you got D50. D50 is 50% glucose, so it's a half a gram per cc, right? So D10 is a tenth of a gram per cc. If you're giving a 0.25 per kilo bolus of sugar to somebody and you're using D10, work out the math. D10 is 0.1 grams per cc. You're looking for 0.25 grams per kilo. So that's going to be two and a half cc's of the D10. So you give two and a half cc's of D10 per kilo equals 0.25 milligram, uh, 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 0.25 grams per kilo of sugar. Um, if you're using D20, um, same thing applies. So you, you just do the same math. So if you're, if you're going to give point, you, you want to give a half a gram per kilo and it's D20 you're using. Two and a half cc's of D20 gives you half a gram. So two and a half cc's per kilo gets you where you're going. So getting those extra tubes of blood helps out the other folks. They will always ask for something that you didn't think of. But I think an ammonia and a CNP are common things that are helpful. Just well, make sure you get more. Yeah, it, it, often it, it's going to turn out to be something metabolic um, if a kid comes in out of the blue hypoglycemic. So um, the, the growth hormone is always something the endocrinologists look for. Um, and, and there are a couple of others as well. But, but there, what, you, what you don't want to do is get in a situation where you've basically mucked up the water and they're having a very, diff very difficult time sorting out why this kid was hypoglycemic to begin with. Uh, another thing to consider is also a lot of tox stuff can cause hypoglycemia. Don't forget booze in the little ones. If, if they got a mm -hmm. hold of some, some alcohol, it will often make hypoglycemia. One Next cc per kilo is all it takes to get a child in trouble with alcohol. Also, Eric Zavallos is a similar ratio. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Next question. 